In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this James Turrell style lighting effect inside Cinema 4D and Redshift Render. James Turrell is a well-known American artist known for his use of colorful lighting and famously copied, or I meant referenced by Drake in his music video Hotline Blink. In order to create this effect for ourselves, it helps to know how Turrell does this in real life, and that is to install his LED lighting behind these massive semi-transparent surfaces. This diffuses the lighting like when using a softbox in photography, and we're going to be using a very similar approach in our model. Without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, here we are in Cinema 4D, and I'm going to assume you have the basic skills and knowledge on how to do simple modeling like this. So I've gone ahead and created our scene. It basically consists of this box here with thickness and also a circle cut out, cut out on top to let our skylight in later. And I've also placed our camera here to frame our scene. And the first thing we want to do is create a semi-transparent material that will go on our ceiling here, exactly like what James Terrell does. All right, so let's go to our material manager, create materials, material. So I'm using the 2024 version of Cinema 4D. And if you're using an older version, there will be a section here specifically named Redshift where you would create the material from. But in the 2024 version, they've already integrated Redshift into C4D. So now it's just called Materials. So select our new material here. Let's make it a little bit lighter. And under Refraction and Transmission, if we go all the way to 1, we would make it completely transparent. So since we want something in between, we put it to say 0.5. And then we can rename this ceiling. So let's select our room and making sure our selection tool is turned on and also our surface selection is on. We select our ceiling and drag our material to it. And now we should see that semi-transparent material is now on the ceiling. And what we want to do is to have the light placed in between this bottom surface and the top surface. And the easiest way to do that is to click on this top surface, right click, split. And now we'll have this separate geometry that will now act as our lighting. So I'm going to select this, delete the material, and name it Ceiling Light. And I'm going to drag it down so it's somewhere in between. And now I'm going to create an area light. Go to Object, under Shape, Area Shape, select Mesh, and I'm going to drag our ceiling light into the mesh. And if we go into our render view, and the light is not turned on, but that's because I think the normal is flipped. So let's go into the Fong session, create normal tag, Go to normal and we're going to click swap normals. And here we see that the light now is too bright. Let's turn that intensity down to, let's say 10. Still too bright. Let's call it one. Okay. That's more like it. And now we also want to uh, start playing around with colors of the light. So let's make this a nice turquoise. And in order to create that skylight, I want to create an RS sky. And here we can play around with the intensity. Something like this looks nice. And we can also play around with the tint. So something like this works for me. And this is how you create this James Terrell effect. 
And in order to create a more atmospheric feeling in this image, we want to add an RS environment. And initially, it's going to be very blown out. So we want to play around with turning down our scattering. And also, we can uh, go to the details section of our light and turn down our volume as well. So I think something like this would look good. And we also want to add a bit of bloom into our image as well. So uh, it's already turned on. So if we turn it off and turn it back on, we can see the difference. We can play around with the intensity here. And let's switch to bucket rendering to see what it would look like in the final render. And something like this, I think, looks nice. So now it's really up to you to spice up this animation and project by keyframing the light color changes and also adding some objects into the room here. I've just got this free rock geometry from Turbo Squid, but you can put whatever you want in there, a nice product shot or something like that. So I hope that was helpful. And the key lesson from this for me, at least, is to kind of observe how something is done in real life. And if you imitate that in Cinema 4D, chances are that it will turn out with a similar effect in the virtual space. Hope that was useful and have a good day.